guys, welcome back to In the Woods. Well, today we're not in the woods, we're in my garage. Uh, there's a horrible winter storm brewing outside. It's come up through the States and it's bringing heavy snow, wind. Uh, it's mild right now, zero plus one, but the temperature's gonna drop tonight to minus 21 with the wind chill. Uh, it's cold. So I decided, you know what? Instead of being outside and getting cold and wet, I decided to stay inside. So if you see right beside me, I got a IBC tote. Um, we got quite a few of these at work, we use them. So I decided, you know what, I'll bring home a few. So I brought four home. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to convert them into firewood storage. As I cut the trees down, I split the wood and it was long story short, I'm gonna be using these for backup. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to cut them open and uh, we'll make a, a small video. All right, thanks a lot. Stick around and we'll get busy. Thanks. So, like I said before, I've seen other videos where people have cut the whole one side out and just made it easy access going in and out. But my intention is going to be different. I'm going to cut out this small section right here. Um, reason being is the walls are so nice and secure if you can have a i can kind of get you to see the side a little bit better there's more bars going all the way across for support so when the weight of the wood is pushing on it it holds it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark off from these pots coming down to here and here just enough so my body can get inside and stack the wood so what I'll do is I'm going to get my marker, we'll mark, and we'll uh, start cutting. Thanks. So with this tool, it would have been nice if it was full 48 by 48 by 48 high, but it's not. Unfortunately, this tool is 39 inches by 46 inches. But the nice thing about me, when I'm cutting out this section here, when I stack the wood in, I can let an inch, an inch on either side hang out so I get that full 48 inches. So when you're running three sections of 16 inches of wood, I'll tell you right now, it works out perfect. So 16, 32, yeah. So that gives me enough room that I can put three rolls of 16 inch firewood and then go across. Now when I go to stack it, of course it's not gonna be 48 that I want because there's my 48 inches here. But what I can always do is I can always raise the front. I haven't decided yet if I want to put a slope cover on it or a teepee cover or I also was contemplating on taking another one, flipping it upside down, double caging it and making it. But uh, I haven't, I'm not sure the, uh, the votes in on that one yet. But, so, let me get my marker. We'll mark this up and we'll go from there. Alright, got my marker. So like I said, I'm going to cut from here, here, and here. Here, here, there. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll go here. I'll not focus here. I think that'll be perfect. So, this way I get an idea of where I want to cut open. All right. Safety first. I take these ones off and put these ones on. It don't look too bad. <laughs> All right. So, put gloves on. The die grinder. There we go.
That's perfect. I can keep this piece here for somewhere where I may need it for reinforcement. But I'll tell you one thing, I should have wore a respirator because that stinks inside. All right. I'll show you what I got done. So you can see how I just cut the piece off nice and clean. And that's nice and clean. Perfect. So now this way when I go in, I come in this way. It gives me lots of room. All right, so now we've cut open the piece here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of uh, old rubber hose. I'm going to slice it and I'm going to put a piece there, a piece across, just for uh, protection, I guess. But the funny part is, as I was moving this into the garage to make space, <laughs> I found this. This is probably oh, four or five years old. It's a magnetic uh, 16 inch guide that I was making one day. And I guess I never really finished it because I wanted to put a little marker on the end of it. So I took an old fridge magnet. I drilled a hole through it. I put another washer tight inside. I filled it up with RTV silicone. I take an old piece of PVC pipe and I stick it onto the side of the bar on my chainsaw. And uh, I've never used it, but I'll tell you one thing. Works good. So, gives me my 16 inches. But maybe I'll make one of these. I'll make a video on making these. So, but let's move on now. I'll grab some wood and we'll try this out. So, I went and I got some pieces of firewood. I just toss them in there. It's easy to get in. <laughs> but let me adjust this. Alright. So I went and got just a few pieces of 16 inch firewood from our fire pit in the back. So this is what I was trying to say to you because the, the, the length of this tote is uh, 46, 47 inches. If I lay down the wood, I can go from end to end with three rows and I can stack all the way up. So I think that's going to work mint. And then again, going right across. Uh, I feel bad. I wanted to grab, I wanted to do this outside where the firewood was. And, but with the weather being as horrible as it's outside, this, I just grabbed a few pieces. It kind of gives me a of what's going on. So, I think this is going to work better. So, like I said, I have more support on this side. This side's open, so it doesn't. Now, the tray has small holes in it already for water ventilation. So, when it, the water does come, it will drain, it won't cause the wood to rot. The only thing I was thinking was I may run rubber strips, just a small half inch rubber strip or wood. So, this way, when the wood is sitting on top, it's it really has that gap of air, but there is channels, so I may not, I may not have to. But anyways, well, there you have it. You know what I mean? Firewood tote. <laughs> Let me just get the. Uh, so, like I was saying, the. Edging here isn't too bad. It's not uh, sharp, but what I'm going to do is I can probably give it a little bit of a filing, to take that sharpness off. And but I want to put, like I said, I want to put a rubber hose. So maybe I can give this. You know what I'll do?
Well, there you have it. IBC tote converted into now firewood storage holder. And the nice thing is it will withstand the element of time. Rain, snow. Um, I have been building other storage wood fire holders which are working great with pallets and everything. But I figured let me try these. So once the weather clears up, I can take them out, move some snow around and see how much uh, wood I can really put in them. But I think they do okay. So thanks for joining us. Remember, hit that like button, subscribe. If you're already a member, thank you for coming back. Um, really enjoyed doing this. So uh, have a great day. Be good, be safe, and we'll catch you next time from In the Woods with the Capones. Thanks. I guess I gotta go start shoveling some snow.